The Projectionist. Exterior, ROTC Shooting Range, June 12, 2007, Morning. Commanding Officer Approaches Marcus, just behind the firing line. You look like you just jumped out of bed. Sorry, sir. Got a late start. I apologize. You need to get your priorities straight, son. Yes, sir. I am sorry, sir. I won't let it happen again. No unnecessary stops along the way, I hope. No, sir. I got here as fast as I could. My mom literally rushed me out of the house. Good. You'll get no special treatment from me, cadet. Understood? Uh, No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. The next time we talk, it is going to be a problem. Do you understand, cadet? Yes, sir. There won't be a next time. Today is the final day for Marcus's ROTC class. Back to work. Yes, sir. Marcus spends an hour practicing his shooting, but his aim is terrible, and he is daydreaming, distracted. His CO sees from a distance that he is frustrated. What is going through your head, son? Look, keep the wrist firm, cadet, like this. Yes, sir. Feet a bit wider, elbow up. It's all about balance. Marcus makes some adjustments to his stance. Better? A bit. If you pull the trigger too firmly, it'll throw off your aim. Squeeze gently. Watch. CO hands him his binoculars. CO stands in the stall next to him. Lines up his shot. Excellent stance. Hits the bullseye with the first shot, then the second shot, and a third shot. You make it look easy. When I want to hit something, I do. Plain and simple. Give me those. Squeeze slowly. Firm wrist. Yes, sir. There is a target full of holes from CO's POV, but none with precision. Marcus squeezes once more. Bullseye. Yes, that's it. Again. Marcus squeezes off another round. Another bullseye. He seems pleased with himself. Ah, so that's the trick. There's no trick, son. There's technique, only technique. Invest more time. Yes, sir. If you can handle this, well... And handle this well, and you don't let this get in the way, you'll rank higher sooner, especially with a recommendation from your commanding officer. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Can we still count on you this afternoon? On time? I hope you don't have any detours planned. Detours? No, sir. Noon, sharp. Yes, sir. Commanding officer walks away, and about ten seconds later, after overthinking the shot, Marcus squeezes the trigger once more. Mrs. Badley started daydreaming about Abigail as soon as C.O. walked away.